Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another software coding tutorial. My name is Tommy and today I will be talking about uh, the usage of array container in STL and you can see here uh, the actual syntax is array, uh, object type, array size and the array name that you need to give and the available methods within the array containers are as follow. Fill which is to fill the entire array with a certain value at to get or set a value at a certain range swap to swap values between uh, arrays front to get the first value of the array and back is to get the last value of the array okay so let's jump into Visual Studio Code and create a new folder I'm going to call it array and in this folder I'm going to create a new file called array container cpp and I'll begin by declaring include IO stream for standard input output include array and then declare using namespace standard in main <coughs> I'm going to declare int main and I'm going to declare uh, two arrays objects so array int size um, type of int size is going to be 10 and so basically I'm going to create two um, Two, two array objects right of size 10 and I could be initializing if I want to by doing uh, like this but I, I'm, I'm deciding not to do it in this example but I'll let you know that you could actually in, in, initialize it by uh, using the curly bracket here um, I'll go ahead and fill the array, the first array, with a um, uh, value of 10. And I'll fill the second array with value of 20, right? And I'll go ahead and loop through the array. Okay, like so, and I can print out at at each position um, what the values are using the um, at uh, method. Okay, just like so. Okay. And then down here, I'm just going to do return zero. And let's go to our terminal and compile this program. So cd to array. And then do g++ standard equal c++ 11. And we should produce a uh, a.out file. Just execute that. And as you can see, uh, that the the first array contains the value 10. The second array will contain the value 20, which is what we expect. Now, I'll dem demonstrate to you uh, how to use the swap um, fun uh, method. So, to swap the arrays, you can do array dot swap array two, right? and then go ahead and print it out again to see what it looks like after the swap right so it's gonna swap 
the values between the two arrays. Let's go to our terminal and type in G++ and you can see that um, the value should have swap, right? I think I should do the other way around, but um, you can see here um, but you can see that from from the last loop uh, 10 is swapped with 20, 20 stop um, sorry swap with 10, which is what we expect. okay And then um, to demonstrate to you um, using the front and back method, so you can basically print out the front the first element of the array so we can do C out um, fr front array front and back array back okay, and, and let's recompile the program And then type a dot out. See the front is twenty, back is twenty, which is what we expected. Okay, and we can do the same thing here for array two, right? Recompile the program. Let's do a clear a dot out see the front of array 2 will be 10 and the back is 10 and that's what we expect okay uh, this is actually a very short tutorial um, thank you very much for watching um, the software coding tutorial channel and my name is Tommy uh, please support uh, my effort by subscribing to the channel or press like and subscribe Thank you very much. See you next time.